Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. What's your name, honey? Michaela. Michaela, where are you calling me from? Colorado Springs, Colorado. Colorado Springs, Colorado. How old are you? I'm 26. 26? Mm hmm. You look older than 26, Michaela. No, just turned 26 on August 18th. I believe you, but <laughs> I'm just telling you an observation. I don't it's all right. To, I get it I a lot. To, I don't want you to. Why, why you do that? Why you want to age out of your youth? Mm, I don't know. I don't. I don't. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Michaela, Colorado Springs, 26. Do you have any kids? No. No kids. What do you do for a living? I work at Amazon. Work at Amazon. When's your birthday or zodiac sign? August 18th. I am a Leo. A Leo. All right, Michaela, what kind of man are you looking for? Uh, somebody who is caring, uh, somebody that likes animals, because I have a bunch. Um, How many animals do you have? I have three dogs, a cat, and three ferrets. Girl, that's too damn much. You want a man? <laughs> huh? You want a man for real? Yeah, for sure. So you have what again? Three dogs, a cat, and three ferrets. You don't think I not even a man, a person. I would be, I mean, I mean, you I'm quite sure you keep your house clean, but with that many animals, it's gonna have a certain sense to it because it's so many animals. Then there could be hair left. You got ferrets, you got dogs. Yeah. Are you willing? Well, they gotta be an animal person too. Okay, continue. Okay, continue. So I wrote it down because I am very forgetful. So don't mind me if I look down. Okay. Um, they have to have a sense of humor because I'm very sarcastic. I don't want somebody that's like unable to take a joke or too serious, you know? Um, I'd like somebody that's taller than me. I'm 5'8". Um, let's see. They got to accept me for me and my addiction. Because as you can see behind me, I got a lot of Mickey stuff on the walls. I'm like obsessed with Mickey Mouse. So they got to like me for that. Can't you have a problem with me. You, you want a white man? Well, I don't prefer a white man. But if there is a white man, then I'm not picky. I prefer somebody that's black. I don't know too many black men that's going to deal with that. I'm not saying <laughs> that they hate. You got Mickey Mouse. You 26 with a Mickey Mouse obsession. Mm -hmm. 10 animals in your house. You want him to be <laughs> six feet tall. Girl, what else do you want? Um, let's see. Somebody who's honest and can hold a conversation, really. What's some deal breakers? Do you have any deal breakers? Uh, disrespect is really big for me. I can't take people that are disrespectful at all. Um, anybody that's abusive or manipulative or somebody that's always trying to, uh, like pressure me into stuff. Cause I don't smoke. I don't drink. I really don't go out much. So that's why I'm like single. <laughs> um, and somebody that's just easily offended since I am sarcastic and my family's the type that'll get on you and you know, you can't be like easily offended because of them. All right. Michaela, when was your last relationship? I've never been in one. I, I know. <laughs> and, I, and I say this with love because I think you're a sweet woman. If you want to cohabitate with another human being, not even just a man, you might have to make some changes, boo. I think yeah, that probably. as to come into your home, the, 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 well, first of all, I want you to mature and grow because the Mickey Mouse obsession, you know, is cute as a child. Oh, but, he's tatted all over me. Okay, <laughs> so that's not going nowhere. We're not. We're not. No. Getting so, so the Mickey Mouse obsession is here to stay. Yeah, my nickname is Mickey as well. So. Oh, okay. So, okay, I'm not going to win that battle. What about the animals? Would you be willing to let go of some of the animals? Probably not, because once I have them, it's like family. So, so one is one pretty one, old, but okay. the other one's the puppies. Okay, this is fair, but do you want your own family one day, like a child? Oh, you don't want kids? No, I don't. Okay, so the guy that you date, could he already have kids? He can, as long as he's not a deadbeat. Okay. So, so as long as he's taking care of his, I don't mind, because my dad was never really in my life. 
listen, I had a dog and my, and my dog passed last December and my dog was my child. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like I gave birth to Philadelphia. That's how much I loved her. But the one oh, yeah, thing I, I spoil really, mine. Huh? I spoil mine. Yeah. So I get it. So I do understand the obsession of a love of a pet, but I will say after Philadelphia died, I had, I, I've been dating way more this year than the 13 years that I had her. And I think there's a couple reasons. A, I had time, you know, before when I used to date, I, she was a priority. So I would have to go home, make sure she was out. That could be kind of irritating. Um, I tend to date men who care about their attire. So even though they would be cautious about sitting on my couch, cause I let Philadelphia be everywhere. Little yeah. things you don't think about that might be a big thing to another person. What? Cause I didn't get the why men didn't like pets until I started understanding like, oh, so, and then also naturally your house, no matter how clean you keep it, when you have that many animals, your house is gonna have a certain smell to it. Not saying it smells bad, but you got right. spirits, three dogs, a cat, a smell comes with that. That right. could be a natural turn off for any human being. So I'm you. not telling you what to do. I'm just saying be open-minded because you're telling me at 26, you've never had a relationship. And I yeah. and, if, and if you find we'll never have a relationship, then go on about your life. But right. No, I've had people interested, but I turn what them away. with those people then. Um, I've I've never really been big into dating because of my mental health. So oh. I pushed them away because I thought, you know, you get in a relationship, people want kids, and I never wanted kids. So what so, are you you're dealing with mental health issues too? I have a schizoaffective disorder. Oh wow. Which is basically like schizophrenia and bipolar. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So that's why I never pursued anybody, but there have been people that have tried to be with me and stuff like that. Okay. Um yeah. and you didn't want to be with them? No, I pushed them away. All right. Are you gonna do you want to finally let somebody in? Yeah. Okay. Let me continue with some more stuff. So does a guy have to look a certain way? Not really. No, just as long as they're taller than me would be preferable. Okay. I, I mean, I did say, I think a Caucasian man fits the description, honey, but you prefer a black man. Yeah. Okay. Or Hispanic, Polynesian, yes. you know, any, any race really, but I would prefer somebody that's black. Okay. Cause okay. My, I'm a biracial kid. Um, Someone said, no, um, that humble Kendra. Not necessarily. I mean, I'm sensitive to your condition, but I still stand by the advice I gave you when it comes to COVID. No, that's good. I don't, I don't take anything back about what I said about the pet, about the pet obsession and, and the house obsession. That stands. Uh, but let's continue. All right, Michaela, give me the Kendra cam, honey. We got to see your full body. Let me scoot this back real quick. You live by yourself? No, I don't. I live with my uh, mom and my brother at the moment. Okay. Okay. What's the age range you want to date, Michaela? Uh, probably 25 to 35. 25 to 35. Oh, is the Wi-Fi working? 25 to 35. Okay. Mm -hmm. Michaela, Colorado Springs, 26. Um, you said the guy can have kids only if he's a good dad, right? Yeah. Okay. No Amazon. Um, all right. You say you never had a relationship. Um, you don't got to answer this question. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? Never. Never been. Is, is that my phone? Oh, my God. Yeah, that's you. Oh. <laughs> um, hold on, child. Let me. Um, hold on. Let me just do a text real quick, child. Um, okay. Never. You, so you're a virgin. Are you waiting till marriage? No. No, not Are necessarily. You... So why is, has it been a conscious decision? Uh, yeah, I just don't want to give my body up to somebody I'm not with. I don't want to give your body up with somebody you're not with. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's, that makes sense. That's fair. This is Michaela, Colorado Springs. No kids works for Amazon. Um, so why do you think you're single Michaela? Uh, because I push people away for my mental health reasons. Um, I don't really pursue people. I don't really go out much. So it's like, if I'm not at work with you or something, or I don't see you passing by when I'm at work, 
that's pretty much all I go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, family oriented. I have a big heart. Uh, I don't do drama, so it'll be drama free. And mm, I could probably make you laugh. I can cook. Yeah. So, um, catch me this question with your condition. Is this why you live with your parents? Are you able to live on your own? Uh, I probably could, but I have a spending problem. So it's like, once I have money, I'm quick to blow it. Unfortunately, it's a part of my condition. So I could be on my own, but my mom manages my meds. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Listen, Michaela, I think you're a sweetheart. Thank you. I think you're a sweetheart. So let's see. Let's, I mean, again, I, I, I understand you have a condition I don't know much about. I'm not going to pretend to know about it. Um, so I'm not no, going to go there with that. And I say this all the time. I ain't a relationship expert. I ain't a therapist. I ain't a life coach. I'm a journalist that hosts a dating show. But I also do know men because with hosting the show for two and a half years, I've learned a lot. Things I didn't know before I became the host of the show. And um, so... I'm wishing you the best. I really am. But I, I I do think if you desire a relationship, and I'm not sure how many changes you can make with the condition, right, that you have. So is that so what's your condition? Is that why you like Mickey Mouse so much? No. Oh, I just always have liked him. Okay. I grew up liking I him. Say, I will say this. You say you push it away a lot of guys. If a good guy comes into your life, don't push him away. All right. I, I can't promise that. Because give give him a chance because I think relationships is like riding a bike. You gotta understand, you gotta get used to it. You gotta go through it. That's how you'll learn it, right? So right. that guy that's really trying to pursue you, give him a chance. All Long right. Not crazy. Like, don't give no abusive man a chance, right? Right. But if that just wants to talk to you, because I want you to get used to, you know, talking to a guy. So don't push the next guy away if he's a good guy. All right, I could do that. Okay, let's do it. Give them your Instagram or Facebook page. So my Instagram is actually right here. It's spelled out because it's really long. It's MichaelaAla.22. MichaelaAla.22? Yep, that's my Instagram. Okay, okay. Um, That's it right there. M-A-K-A-Y-L-A-A-Y-L-A.22? Yeah. Okay. All right, Michaela Boo. Well, keep me posted how it goes, honey. All righty, I will. Thank you. Okay, they're saying, Kendra, you're frozen. Am I still frozen? We're about to end. Um, it is very blurry, actually. Okay, we're about to go anyways. We, we went for an hour and 49 minutes. Okay, oh, it's, it's back. So let me say this. Let me say this, honey. Um, Y'all yeah, do know I have good intentions, right? So I, I, I pray that you know that. I pray that, you know, it's not my goal to ever hurt anybody's feelings, but it is my goal to, to share a, a dose of truth because I would like to see if you want love, a person to end up with love, right? And I do think we have to stop a couple narratives. We got to stop the narrative that there's somebody for everybody. That is a lie. It's not, not in a romantic way. I do believe there's somebody for everybody in a soulmate way, right? You can have a best friend could be your soulmate. Your animals could be your soulmate, your sister, your mother, your father. But no, everyone does not get love. That's just a reality. You don't need me to prove that. Your own life proves that. How many people do you know single? How many people do you know that never get into relationships? So it sounds good, but no, there's not someone for everybody. That's just reality. Your life can, can prove that in your own life. So with that being said, um, it's okay to give truth. If the truth is going to help um, end in a positive direction, you know, and if, and, if, and if you're giving truth with the idea of this can help you get what you desire, I think it's fine. So we, we can't be too sensitive. And I only have this issue when it comes to women. I, I'm telling you, y'all go hard on the pain when it comes to men. But when women come, you get really soft, very, oh, no, no. If we want to make a change, we got to do things different if that's the goal. And I stand by people who have never been in relationships. If you desire a relationship, you got to get into a relationship because you got to understand what that dynamic feels like and or less you just get used to being comfortable living by yourself. All right. Listen, I love y'all. We're done.